500th video. My hair's all fucked up. I planned some extravaganza. I had all these video clips I was going to put together and, and produce this big old 500, you know, 500th video extravaganza. But I decided I will save that for later. I just want to thank the people who have allowed me to stay on YouTube this long. I know over the past few weeks I flipped out. And it wasn't until last night somebody brought me, snapped me, <laughs> fuck you doing, back into reality. Um, I appreciate everything that you all have done for me out there. Because a lot of people say, you know, this YouTube ain't shit. It does nothing for you. You're not getting paid. What the fuck are you doing this for? Why are you wasting your time? It's not a waste of time. We, as a people, started off sitting around a campfire. The oldest person in the tribe would tell a story, and everybody would, would look at him or her in amazement and listen to the to the stories they would tell. They wouldn't tell stories like uh, Jack and Jill and the Bible. They would tell stories about when they hunted when they first met somebody they fell in love with, when they went on a journey, you know, life in the forest, life in the caves, life in general. Before there was piped in nonsensical stories, make-believe. I truly believe the first storytellers only told reality. The only reality was truth. And the only truth is what you've seen with your own two eyes. So in the future, you won't be able to believe your own two eyes. In the very near future. And people say, you know, it's like, you know, you talk about one thing, you get off subject, and you get on this. Well, last week when I was battling for good and evil and shit, you know, some of my soul was tainted. But hey, I ain't never said I was a good guy in the first place. So, getting back on track, we started telling stories, not as entertainment, but as education. You know, telling that the little kid, you know, if you rub a stick like this over across another stick create some heat and you put some little you know, start the fire teach your kids how to start fires and then you, you get the string and you put it on the end of the stick and you put this on the end of the string and you can throw it into the big body of water and snatch out something to eat everything in every story that was ever told in the beginning of human existence was to better the people listening to the story. So, I come to YouTube last year. I'm just going to say a year ago. I was out of work, tired, stress, drama, 39 years old, no career, wife on my back like she's supposed to be and I had nothing to do I was going through a series of self-imposed drama people say I'm a drama king if I was gay I'd be a drama queen but regardless of all that regardless of what brought me to YouTube I'm here I've had some great fights, some great fights, some great debates, some great arguments. Um, my lowest point in YouTube, besides last week, was when I commented on the girl in the, the um, prom thing. I was misconstrued, and 
that's the first time I flipped out. I mean, I'm reading my notes and I pissed all these people off. <laughs> Wait a minute. And somebody called me a pedophile. I mean, and that fucked me up. I'm like, oh shit. So I'm. And then when I did my little thing, I looked in, and this is for the first time I noticed YouTube was not adult. Don't get me wrong, I ain't talking about slam bang, pull down your pants and let a weenie slap somebody in the mouth. I'm talking about just a little kid, a child that called me this name. So then I retooled my thinking. I'm like, you know, you just can't say things without formatting, formatting your words into a, a box, in other words. In other words, if you know what's in the damn box, you're most likely to look at it because you know what the content is going to be in the box. And I didn't format what I said. And it took me three videos to try to point out that if a young girl is in a fashion magazine, you pick up these magazines and we see these girls walking across the runway in Paris or whatever on these TV shows or whatever and they're hardly wearing anything so I was saying that the girl with the swimsuit on trying to go to the prom was fine based on that based on what's seen in magazines and based on you know American Next Top Model and shows like that on TV and people blew my ass all up out the water then, scariest point in my little YouTube year, a year in the tube, was when I made the comment about the invasion. We have people coming from other countries, taking jobs when there aren't that many jobs, blah, 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 an invasion is an invasion. I mean, these people literally took my face off one of the videos, put it on that guy from Shaun of the Dead, not him, but one of the zombies, and he was just bashing my head in. Now, the Mexican guys who did this video with me getting beat all up and shit, and the death threats, and we're going to come to your town and kill you, and all that shit, they didn't see the end of the video. Then I learned, shit. You can't trust nobody. These motherfuckers are trying to kill you. And then I said to myself, pull that video, pull the video. And you can even ask the, I think it's a, he's calling himself the president of the blacks now. Um, you can even ask him. Between me and that guy, there's probably damn near a million hits on those two videos. His video and mine. I don't know. It's been a year. I'm going to fucking exaggerate. I don't care. Fucking million hits, okay? 500,000 for me. 499,000 for him. Ah, okay, 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 okay. 502,000 for him and 500,000 for me. Whatever. But out of all that, out of all the good and the bad, the fights, the fights with Sergeant Willie Pete, them was the best ones. Because to me, I felt like I'm Hulk Hogan coming out of retirement. And Sergeant Willie Pete was like the rock or the next young motherfucker and he was just gonna beat me up and shit. Well, never mind. Forget it. Then I made a lot of great friends with Boss Francis Coppola and Father Judgment, you know, and Father Judgment call me. Uh, White Chillin, Future Soldier, and shit, T T TKO. Tiny, tiny TKO. And I mean, all these people, Blood Advocate, uh, Daily Apple, and you, when you watch these people, I, I don't really, well, don't get me wrong, I haven't contacted Blood Advocate like I wanted to, or Daily Apple. But um, these are people, I, I, I call my friends, man. And um, YouTube, you can make friends on YouTube. Me and Sexy Sci-Fly proved that. Me and the number one asshole proved that. Me and Methodopolis prove that. Me and all the people that I communicate with have proved that these are real people. And people who are real deserve me to say thank you. I appreciate everybody. And there's some names I didn't mention. In the number two asshole, Tom Kennedy, Mia, Ruby, 
um, 